Hey, today I'm going to show you how to add video motion to your 360 degree panoramas straight out of Lumion. So let's get into Lumion and go over to the panorama section, add a photo based on the view angle that you want. Without moving anything, go to the movie button, press record, take a snapshot, take another snapshot, because we don't want any motion of the camera in this. Add some time to this based on however long you want that to be. And hit OK, save clip. And we will add an effect to this, add a wind effect. So this is kind of what we want. We want the moving trees and leaves and stuff. I'm going to increase it a little bit to show exaggeration. You can see the trees swaying and the shadows on the door moving around. We're going to hit render movie. I'm going to change this to entire movie. I'm going to go full HD 1920 by 1080. Save this MP4 file. Let that render out really fast. Obviously, I've sped this up. Okay, so we'll say OK to that. Go to your panorama and we'll render out this image here. I'm going to render it out in medium format. Save that JPEG image. and say OK. So now what we'll do is minimize this and open up Adobe Premiere Pro and we'll drag in the 360 degree photo, drag that into your project window and then drag in the video overlay MP4 file that you created into your project window. That's going to import the files. Drag the 360 degree into your timeline and that'll set up the timeline the way you need it to, to visually um, be, that all the properties of that file will be retained. Now take your video file and add that over the top of it. And you're going to need to stretch out your 360 video to whatever length of your video file is. Now you can see it came right in over the top, right in the center of where it should be, but it looks square. So what we want to do is add this plugin over the top called VR Plane to Sphere. That maps the 300, the, six, the circle, the sphere, to that image and overlays it right on top. Now, given it looks pretty, it looks pretty seamless here, but you will notice that as, as you get into it, if you turn the opacity down a little bit, the image is actually a little bit smaller than it needs to be. And you could notice this more if there wasn't so much trees around. Um, the blending wouldn't be quite as good. So you can scale this up to try to match as close as possible. It's going to be difficult to get it all the way matching. You can move it up and down in its position to see if you can align it the best you can. And it's automatically blending out. But I'm going to go into back into Lumion. I'm going to export a little higher resolution, a quad HD movie to overlay just to get a little bit more definition in the video. I'm going to overwrite this file here and render this out. So now that we have that higher resolution video, I'm going to go and import that high res footage and drop it on top of the video track three. Turn this two off so we don't have two overlays. I drag the sphere plugin back on. And this time, I, instead of adjusting the scale, I'm actually going to adjust the scale degrees in the VR sphere. I'm 
So I'm going to play around with this until it kind of closely matches the scale of the photo behind it. You can see that the little house is coming in pretty close and then that tree off to the left in the view is starting to align better than it was before. So I think that's pretty, that's pretty close right there. It might be about as close as you can get. All right, I think I'm going to leave it like that. Let's see if adjusting any of this will help position it any better. Maybe a slight tweak. And turn the opacity back up. You can see how when you turn it back up and down, you can see how it relates. So now it's back up at 100%. It looks pretty good. It looks overall blends in pretty nicely. So I'm going to do file export media. I'm going to give this file a name. I'm going to make sure that the VR video is checked and export. I'm going to overwrite this file. Yes. We'll let that render out. Now, if we go to our window and drag this video on top of our VR player, which I use GoPro VR viewer, then you can see we've got the animation playing on top of the video. So now there, there it's loaded, and you can see that when you pan around back onto the house, that the leaves on the doors and stuff are actually moving. The shadows move, and some of the foliage around the house is moving. The stuff that we didn't export in the video doesn't actually move doesn't have any animation but it blends in pretty nicely so you can see that this is a good way to add a little bit of motion a little bit of life to your videos